Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I am Maris Aylward. Today's Q&A video is about teaching yoga. The question is, should I become a yoga teacher? Today I'll share with you three questions or three ideas that you need to think about before you commit to this path of becoming a yoga teacher. Number one, do you like teaching? I know that sounds silly, but just because you're good at something, you enjoy something, you love something, it doesn't mean that you will enjoy and love teaching it or that you would be good at teaching it. I really don't like that expression, those who can't do teach, meaning those who fail at their chosen profession or career. Uh, let's say someone wanted to be a writer and they failed at that, then they just become an English professor because it implies that there is no skill involved in teaching and that just anyone can do it. But that is not true at all. Now, I think there are some natural born teachers, meaning teaching is innate to them and they have um, a given talent for it. But I do believe that it can be learned. It can be honed. It can be improved. So if you don't feel that you're a natural born teacher, are you willing to learn the skills? Are you willing to do what it takes to become an effective teacher? When you teach a class, it's not just about you anymore. You're not going to be focusing on your own practice, on your own body. You're going to be looking out there and giving your attention, your time, your energy, your dedication to other people and making sure that they have a safe, effective, uh, enjoyable practice. You need to know how to communicate better. What's self-explanatory to you, what's simple to you is not necessarily so for other people, especially if you're teaching beginners. So think about that. Do you really want to teach? In your heart of hearts, do you want to teach? Or do you just want to practice more yoga? Maybe the solution is not teacher training, not becoming a yoga teacher. Maybe you need to go to a yoga retreat to deepen your practice. And that might give you more insight into whether you want to go to teaching or not. Before teaching yoga, I was already a teacher. So I know that I actually have a love for teaching. I was a high school teacher for a few years. I was a corporate trainer. I was doing team building workshops um, with students and corporations. I was running presentation skill seminars. So I was always in the teaching, in the training profession. So I'm used to getting up in front of people and teaching. Let's move on to the second one. Let's say you do have a sincere desire to teach, a sincere desire to teach yoga. Now, are you willing to get up in front of people to do it? I know some yoga teachers from teacher trainings that I've done before, and they love yoga. They have this earnest desire to teach and share with other people and witness other people experiencing the benefits of yoga, but they are deathly afraid of actually getting up in front of people and teaching the class. So if you're pretty extroverted or you're used to getting up in front of people, then maybe this is not an issue for you. But if you were not used to doing that, the question to ask yourself is, are you willing, again, to learn and do what it takes to be more confident, to learn how to be an effective communicator? If you don't have a background in this, this is going to be a challenge for you. But it, again, it can be learned. I really believe it can be learned. And I'm not saying only extroverts can be yoga teachers. That's not true at all. I have fabulous yoga teachers that I've met who are introverts and they are very effective, very inspiring, and they have a lot of students that they've already helped. So my own experience is with, I have that teaching background, but I also have a strong background in performing arts in acting for film and theater and television and hosting events. So I didn't really have a problem getting up in front of people or being in front of the camera. So that wasn't a huge issue for me. But if that is an issue for you, you need to look into that because I know um, quite a few people who finished yoga teacher training and never taught because they were just too afraid to do it. But again, there's always a way to overcome those obstacles. It's about educating yourself, practice, 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 being willing to learn and get out of your comfort zone. All right, third thing, third question you must ask yourself is, how much yoga do you want in your professional life? Meaning, 
you're thinking about becoming a yoga teacher. Is that just a hobby that you'd like to do? Is it a side gig to supplement the income that you get from a full-time job that you already have? Or are you thinking of eventually transitioning out of your current career and becoming a full-time yoga teacher? This is a complex topic that probably requires another video, you know, yoga, profession, and money, but um, maybe I'll do that another time. But for now, you need to ask yourself that. Again, just because you enjoy teaching yoga, it doesn't mean you will enjoy it as a job. And true, I'm a yoga teacher. It's work that I love, that is fulfilling for me, and that I enjoy, and that I want to be good at. But it is still also a job. And you have to think about everything that comes with a job compensation, schedule, dealing with employers, yoga studios. In, in this context, clients or customers are your yoga students. So how do you deal with that? There's just another aspect to it that you might not be thinking about yet. Another important thing is to think about the money side. It's difficult for most yoga teachers to do that because they feel like yoga is a spiritual practice for them or it's something that's helped in their personal growth. I, they don't want to think about the money side of it. But if you are thinking about a career change, whether it's part-time or full-time teaching yoga, you need to think about that, especially when you start out. It's going to be a challenge financially. It's not uncommon for a yoga teacher to be teaching 15 to 20 classes a week, driving around the city to all these different places just to make ends meet. I need you to have a realistic view of what teaching yoga as a profession is actually going to look like. You might be thinking of your yoga teacher that you admire or that you practice with and think that their life is so awesome because all they do is yoga. And that might be true, but they also have to deal with other things. So a good thing for you to do right now, maybe to try and answer this third question, is to talk to the yoga teachers that you know and have an, a little bit of an idea of what their life is like and see if that's a direction that you want to go into. I want to hear from you if you have any questions about teaching yoga, maybe an aspiring yoga teacher, any other concerns that you'd like me to address, write that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button. The bell icon next to it is notifications. That When you click that, it means you will be notified every time I put a new video out. That way you don't miss anything. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today, yogis, and I'll see you next time. Bye.